of music, arts, and cultural stories, including many produced by this radio station. Information and audio at Ampers.org. Ampers Diverse Radio for Minnesota Community. on the Tuesday Night Experiment, and I wanted to do a th- a more of a holiday sort of thing and talk about holiday music. You see, I'm definitely not one of those who uh, loves you know, a lot of what they put out as these days as far as holiday music until I was turned on by a man by the name of Red Peters, and he's got a couple of songs that are available for download with a holiday theme that even I can enjoy. And he's with us to chat about it. This man is a, definitely a one-of-a-kind and a true treasure of music and just life in general. Let's welcome all the way from the great state of Massachusetts, the one, the only, Mr. Red Peters. Hey, Glenn, thank you very much, man. You know, I almost started crying. I really, I, you know, when I get, a, I, intro. I, I get a guest like you, my friend, I have to do my best to give you an intro worthy of a true talent. Well, thank, thank you, you my very friend. much. I sure appreciate it. The holidays are rolling around once again, and with it comes Red Peters with some holiday music and holiday specials, too. I happened to just recently catch your thank, uh, your special on uh, Sirius Satellite Radio over the Thanksgiving holidays. Boy, you top yourself every time, my friend. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, I'm lucky because, uh, you know, I've, I've found some really great music over the years, uh, you know, since I've been working over at Sirius, you know, it's un, uncut, uncensored over there, mm-hmm. and, uh, you know, between mining the internet myself and having people sending in submissions, you know, over the past five years, I've, you know, probably accumulated a few hundred songs, and, uh, I mean, of course, many more were sent to me, but... You know, I, I have a few hundred at least right now that are, are worthy that it, to my standards, you know. But it's a lot of fun, and it's amazing how creative people can be. You know, and you re- definitely with these specials, I remember last Christmas we were getting pounded with snow, and uh, we didn't have XM in the, in, in the house, or XM series in the house, but my brother had it in his car. Me, my brother, and my nephew, it was like uh, our own way of gather- how they used to gather around the radio in the 1940s and 50s. We were gathered around that car stereo, driving around in a snowstorm, listening to whatever offerings you were pulling out, and we were just <laughs> laughing and enjoying <laughs> ourselves. Hey, I've done it myself, you know. Sometimes, you know, I have it in my vehicle, too, and if I want to listen to my show, I either, you know, go out in the driveway and listen to it or go for a ride or, you know, I'm on a trip or whatever, there's nothing, uh, you know, more enjoyable than hearing all those uh, crazy songs, you know. Oh, and it's it's so much fun, and, and, you know, a lot of the songs are a little bit on the blue side, not exactly terrestrial radio material for the most part. No. You know, it, it, that, does, it, that, that doesn't matter to me, and that's why the wonderful thing of having uh, your specials be on, on on satellite radio, because you truly you don't really have to fully and completely censor yourself, and you can let some of these uncensored tracks ha- be played in all of their glory. That's right, and I'm telling you, there's, there's every kind, there's like, from ridiculous and silly to, you know, filthy as can be. And, uh, you know, there's, of course, there's no limitations on the language. It's not that I'm trying to offend anyone. If anything, I'm trying to get a chuckle out of people. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Or, or at least amaze people that, that they've never heard anything like this before. You know what I mean? I mean, we all know Dr. Demento, and, you know, he's been very supportive of me over the years. Um, and uh, he's getting a little loosening up a little bit now, now that he's on the Internet. But... Uh, you know, this stuff was raw right out of the gate. You know what I mean? It was such a free, such a free feeling to be able to play this stuff. And uh, you know, like some of the, some of the stuff is, like I say, it's kind of mild, and then stuff is other stuff really heavy-handed. But it's all, I think, I think it's very entertaining. You know, uh, I if I get off on it, I figure a lot of other people will too. You know. And that's definitely the you know it's laughter is kind of a universal wonderful thing and we're gonna how did you get involved with all of these uh, this excavating of all this great great music uh, when did you kind of get the bug for this? Well, you know, uh, I mean, I think actually like in the mid '80s, you know, I uh, one of my very first songs, which I can't even say the name on on the radio, <laughs> uh, but it was a jukebox hit. Years ago, when there was when there was still 45 RPMs, and uh, 
you know, uh, I just did it as a joke. You know, I'm a music producer by by trade, and you know, when the client would leave, we'd goof, you know, change the words to the jingle or whatever we were working on, and goof around amongst ourselves, and uh, that's how the the songs first came about. In around 1990, I wrote uh, a song which you probably played or heard. It was uh, "How's Your Whole Family?" Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, that's a good one. Then I got a record deal shortly after, well, a year or two after that, and that's when we came out with the whole uh, first album. I laughed, I cried, I fudged my undies. <laughs> and, that, <laughs> and that had, uh, you know, "Ballad of a Dog Named Stains," which I'm actually singing on TV tonight. I'm up in New Hampshire right now. Uh, I'm about to go into a TV show, and I'm going to sing Dog Named Stains tonight. And I actually have my dog with me, so it's going to be quite the, tri quite the trip. I hope I remember the lyrics. Oh, God. But uh, it also had my first Christmas song, Holy Bleep, It's Christmas, <laughs> which uh, maybe you've heard or, you, or your listeners have heard. And, uh, you know, uh, and, uh, you know, I went on to record a second album, which had another Christmas song, You Ain't Getting Bleak for Christmas. <laughs> and uh, that was that. And then now it's like every every winter, now, every Christmas, I ha I don't have a life. You know, I'm producing these shows for Sirius. I have two new Christmas songs this year, uh, which people can check out um, on iTunes and Amazon. Mm -hmm. uh, one is called Have a Wonderful Hawaiian Christmas. Mm -hmm. which is my new song, which is, I'd say it's PG-13. I say the SH word uh, once or twice in it. And then, uh, something I'm very proud of, I sang a duet with Margaret Cho mm -hmm. on a song called The Christmas Gift. And that one is a little bit more explicit, but it's, uh, I, I think it's one of my best songs I've recorded yet. And I... I you got to hear it to believe it. You'll die when you hear it, you know. And, you know, I'm definitely going to give our, our listeners, uh, you know, after we get done talking, I'm going to give a preview of, of both uh, of those tracks. And uh, how did you get hooked up with Margaret Cho? She's she's definitely uh, one of the funniest uh, ladies uh, around as far as the stand-up yeah. goes. Well, you know, I've seen her stand-up, and uh, she's actually, she makes me sort of like kindergartenish. I mean, she's filthy, <laughs> and she has a filthy mouth. And... Uh, I always played her her comedy on my show on Sirius. You know, I play uh, comedy bits in between the songs mm -hmm. sometimes. I always appreciated her work. Then just one day out of no, nowhere, she uh, contacted me on Facebook of all places, and we began corresponding back and forth. She said she really liked my song. She really liked, <coughs> excuse me, How's Your Whole Family? Mm -hmm. And another song... Uh, which I couldn't, can't say the title uh, on. <laughs> Damn this terrestrial radio! I swear. Yeah. Tells uh, you. But one of my, actually, my two favorites, my two most popular songs, she was a big fan of. So she, uh, she said, "Hey, you know, I'd love to do a duet with you sometime, or collaborate on something." So over the last six months, we've been trying to come up with a song and a plan. And she finally, we finally decided we were going to do this Christmas song. Mm -hmm. So on October 27th, she flew in a day early up in Boston, and we recorded uh, <coughs> we recorded the song. And then the next night, she performed at one of the big halls in uh, in Boston. I went and saw her; she was fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's some ex so, excellent it's stuff. Yeah, thank you. And you can find that at your, <laughs> you can find the downloads at your website. Yes, correct. Yes. Uh, you can just, uh, you know, do a search of Red Peters on iTunes, and uh, there's probably a hundred songs in there that you can listen to a little snatch, so to speak, of each one, mm -hmm. and uh, including the one with Mark and Joe. It's called The Christmas Gift, mm -hmm. and I would recommend uh, your listeners to check that song out on iTunes. You'll die when you hear it. <laughs> do you have like a <laughs> wish list of people you would love to make me like to do a, a sort of funny song with? Is there some people that you have on the list that you hopefully uh, would love to do something with down the line? Yeah, now I, I am working on a duet album. Oh, excellent. Um, yeah, I'm going to be doing you know a, a song with uh, probably do ten more songs. Mm 